All right, so got my two fenders primed. This is a build primer. And uh, what's annoying about this whole process is I haven't painted in like, I don't know, a year, year and a half. And uh, so by the time I get the formula figured out, I'm either out of paint or the job's done and I can't get to perfect <laughs> what I want to do. So, you know, I started out and uh, I mixed like a four to one to one. Uh, no, four one to two, four one two. And that was like liquid and it went on beautifully, but that was more of like your seal coat before you do your final painting. And so this is supposed to be build primer. And uh, so I'm like, okay, that's too thin. And it went through the gun really quick. So I was like, okay, that's crazy. Cause I didn't, I, I thought I was gonna do like three coats with how much I had in the gun. So then I went down to what I believe to be 411 and that was too spitty. And it was just like, it looked like sand coming out. It was horrible. So then, you know, I threw some extra stuff in there and just, you know, stirred it up. And then it lasted like three or four applications. And so, you know, I'm just like, ah, all over the place trying to get these things dialed in. And I have a lot of notes of what I've done in the past, but it uh, doesn't translate when it's 30 degrees cooler. And, you know, I mean, there's, you know, different type of reducers and temperature for the reducers and all that. And, you know, I just got to use what I got. And, uh, but I've always had problems with the build primer. If you remember and you go back to one of my firewall videos, uh, it just looked like pitted sand. And, you know, pretty much I was spending more time sanding off the, the peaks of the sand than I was actually doing any kind of sculpting with the build primer. And so I think we're decent here for at least the first run. And, uh, but you know, it doesn't feel good. You just want to be like perfect on the first try. Um, and you know, I'm shooting build primer. It was super windy out. It's a little dusty. You know, there's a few little things in there, which I don't care because I'm going to sand off. But honestly, you know, not having the proper way of, you know, putting these on something and hanging them, uh, being out in the elements, sun's in your eyes, you know, the stands are in the way of my gun going underneath. Um, for me, it's more aggravating than anything. And so it's like, it's almost not even worth doing in the backyard. It's, it's that bad. Now, when I sprayed all my flat panels, which I actually created a booth inside the garage over here, and I also did one outside once uh, against the wall, created a uh, 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 cardboard booth for the like Raptor underliner and all that stuff and the lizard skin, that was fine. You know, it's not toxic. You don't have mask on. It splatters all over the place, but as long as you created the booth big enough, you're fine. And that was easy. That was no problem at all. But once you get confined with the mask and the special guns and all this stuff, um, you know, there's hardeners in there. So the, you got a time that you're dealing with and all that stuff. It just becomes a little bit more difficult. And, uh, you know, I keep dreaming about having a garage where, you know, I got a lift on one side and I got a storage area on the other side and I got a full paint booth in the middle. And, I, you know, and it's like, I have all these dreams, <laughs> which would be really nice. Like I actually know what I'm doing in the dreams and I, everything comes out nice and perfect. Uh, but you know, it's just crammed, you know, it's, I, I have no space here because I'm just slammed. So in any case, I'm just rambling, but, uh, We'll see, you know, I don't even know if this is a thick enough build to do anything. And I actually did run out of primer. So, and I'm not even sure they're open tomorrow to even buy more. And I'm thinking like, instead of buying a pint or whatever, I might just buy a gallon if that's what we're going to use for the rest of the car. Or if I'm just going to buy stuff off of Greg and we buy whatever, I'm not sure. So these are all things that are just kind of up in the air, but this is something I figured I'd give it a try and see if I could get something done that would work. In the meantime, um, Greg kind of came over and kind of showcased this hood. Um, first of all, you know, he fixed this up, which is looking a lot better. Did it on both sides. And then he was showing me how I need to get this to all smooth out by running over both edges. And he was also showing me of how 
like we were running the sandpaper over this, but there's such a divot in the hood that you can see, I mean, it's just, it's a full divot. It just goes in and then comes back out. Um, so that's all stuff that, you know, I have to kind of work out. And uh, so I got a list of stuff that I want to do and uh, tackle. I did pretty well on the uh, hard top, but I definitely need to do this. I need to cover all this and try to maybe work on this area. Um, and then I need to get the, so one of the issues that we have is this is a little high and then down here it's a little low and a decent amount low, but you could put spacers in there so it doesn't go as low. That's fine. So then there's a, I guess they call it a shoulder bolt that locks in. That's your latch right here. So even if I bring this up high, if this latches, it will bend it back in. So we're thinking that that might work the best and uh, we'll see. But you know, the thing is, is I can't really install the latch and get that correct because my side panels are on, I can't get in there. So, you know, there's all sorts of like, well, I can't get the side panel off because my headlights on. And <laughs> it's like, Grr! it's so frustrating because put those headlights on are a real big pain in the ass. It's really difficult. Um, so, you know, not that it doesn't take 15, 20 minutes to take one off, but I just put it on like a week ago. So it's, it's just that kind of stuff drives me up the wall. I'm one of those like set it and forget it people. Do it right the first time and just let it ride. And uh, so all this on off, on off, on off, on off just, just drives me up the wall. But that's a personal issue. So that's kind of where we're at. Hopefully we're going to get some stuff done this weekend and uh, I don't know, try to kick this into high gear, get this thing done. But there's a lot to do. So, until next time, have a great day.